What, what up, up with it? Q in the building. Auntie. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Hit that thing one time, folks. We greatly appreciate if you did so. Who are you? Where? Who are you? I am. Hey, it is what it is. Fahrenheit 451, Michael B. Jordan. Michael Shannon. It looks like it's going to be something dramatic, something that you like. We're going to see, man. We're going to see if it make you cry. I'm crying. Oh, my fault. Do you want to know what's inside? Please go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Insanity. Oh, this is going to be sci fi. Chaos. By the time you guys grow up, there won't be one book this? left. <laughs> They're burning all the books? Oh, yes. Yeah, we This is a. Mm, no, this okay. is a Yo. We are not born equal, so we must be made equal by the fire. Hmm. I want to burn. Hey, yo. Book? Is it a movie or is it a show? It looks crazy. Alright, so so talk to us, man. What was you about to say? This is basically a it's based off of a book. Uh-huh. That literally it's one of those books where it's a dystopian future where basically all books are considered illegal and if you're caught with a book they burn it oh. and you're thrown in jail or something like that. That's an interesting oh, concept. Did uh what's the reason for burning the books? To burn history or something? They're just books cause too much trouble, I guess. They never really go into the fact that they don't want them to learn. Like, well, like the main character ends up finding a book, and I think it's like a Bible or something like that, and he keeps it, and he ends up reading the shit, and he gets in trouble, and his whole life gets ruined because of it. Like his wife snitches on him, his Dang. boss fucks his life up, all kinds of like shit. Dang, <laughs> bro, I ain't even gonna hold you. That do look interesting. I don't know if that's a you know if this is gonna be a movie or if it's gonna be a show. We like it's gonna be a movie to yeah. me. But it looked interesting. I I check it out. HBO Live. They putting it down. You feel me? Uh, you got any comments, questions, nah, concerns? Check it out, though. Word. It do look interesting. Do you care? Would you are are you for burning books if you think it eliminate racism and stuff? Just history in general. No, I think it's important for everybody to read, no matter no matter what happens. Honestly, of course you gotta learn about your past, but I mean it can help you learn about the future too. I think it's stupid. But the way technology going right now, it's almost like you almost ain't gotta read no more for real. For real. That's why everybody's stupid. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if everybody's stupid. I feel like more more people are. Uh, I ain't gonna say woke. I hate the phrase woke. I ain't gonna say I hate stay the phrase. Woke. But that's just so common for people to say. But I say woke. You watched the little series called Questions, and you've seen how stupid people are. I haven't seen that. What's questions? What's question? Oh, it's on words like hip hop. It's just questions. They ask people just random questions, like who's on ten dollar bill. No one knows. <laughs> just simple shit. I understand. But then again, you know, why would why would you need to know? It's not. Shit, just well, give me the but <laughs> we in that weird information <laughs> age where it's dollars. like people don't know how to do basic stuff. Like you forget how to uh, divide and multiply yep. to certain degrees. But it's like, why the fuck do you need to know if you got a calculator that can do it for you? Mm -hmm. But it, uh, in ways we're becoming dumber. Like like our grandparents. Like if we were to have an EMP right now, we look stupid because they know how to grow food. They know how to do all this shit. They be like, y'all know how to play with all these keyboards and shit, but y'all know how you feed your damn self. We'd be hungry as fuck, wouldn't it? Be hungry, boy. Ah, oh, they be like, burn some tree right now with some fruit on it. What you doing? But at the same time, with the advanced stuff, you know what I'm saying? We could we do our thing, and they just be lost. Yeah, they be like, what is that? It's a it's, keyboard. It's, and we can still yeah. look up how to do the stuff they were doing back in the day because there's probably somebody who's got this AMP. How you gonna look it up? Do it. Yeah. True. Yeah. I mean, I like to look up in the book. Yeah, man. If we just had an interesting time for uh, information and technology. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like basic stuff is like, man, I you know, I ain't gonna waste my time. Some smart people say you shouldn't waste your time. Why the fuck are you gonna take all this time learning all these advanced mathematics if you got a machine that could do it for you? Technically, Socrates like, why? hated books. He what? thought they were a stupid invention. He well, he's dead now. Wrong. Moving on. He thought the written word was a dumb invention. He thought that you should remember everything. If you can't have the mental capability. Oh, that nigga bugging, bro. What about a grocery list? Damn. 
If you can't uh, remember it, you don't deserve so to have it. Up. Yeah, so the house that don't have no damn bread, boy, you be like, hey, oh my God, just say with me. Bullshit. <laughs> say with me. But hey, man, let us know how y'all feel about this joint down in the comment section below. How do you feel about the information age going on right now? Do you think we're more stupid as time goes on, even though overall we have more information? To our knowledge that has ever been had by humanity or do you feel like people of the past were smarter man put it down in the comment section below but in the meantime in between time what can they do for us though make sure y'all like comment and subscribe to our channel we greatly appreciate if you did so until next time peace, peace.